you're just an old man. This is not Denzel Washington. Neither is this, or this, or even this. Don't believe me? Take it from the man himself. What I played in the movies is not who I am. It's what I played. So then, who is Denzel Washington really? And more importantly, what makes his impact so profound both on and off the screen? In order to address this question, we'll talk about three key factors that have not only made him successful, but have allowed him to expand the perception of what excellence looks like, his ability to remain grounded, his purposeful choice of roles, and his dedication to honing his gift. At the core of Denzel Washington's excellence is a profound sense of dignity, rooted in his unwavering foundation of faith and family. What my mother said to me was, Denzel, you do a lot of good, but you must do good the right way. So at 66, getting ready to be 67, having just buried my mother, I made a promise to her and to God, not just to do good the right way, but to honor my mother and my father by the way I live my life the rest of my days on this earth. I'm here to serve, to help, to provide. But in every prayer, all I hear is feed my sheep. That's what God wants me to do. These values instilled in him from a young age set him apart in an industry often disconnected from such grounded principles. Unlike many Hollywood stars, Washington's roots run deep. His upbringing, steeped in solid principles, gives him a unique perspective that transcends the glitz and glamour of stardom. I've never had to party with the right people or stab anybody back or lie or cheat or steal to be where I am in this business, and I'm proud of that. This strong foundation doesn't just shape his personal life, it profoundly influences his craft. It gives Washington a rare depth and authenticity, allowing him to inhabit a wide range of characters with genuine emotion and understanding. Whether he's portraying a conflicted police detective, a determined father, or a retired military officer, Washington brings a gravitas to each role that stems from his own lived experiences and values. This unique presence allows Washington to connect with audiences on a deeper level. He doesn't just play characters, he brings to life fully realized individuals whose struggles and triumphs resonate with viewers long after the credits roll. I am not gonna bury my son! My son is gonna bury me! Is arguably one of the greatest of all time and resonates with anyone who understands the depth of a parent's love. Washington delivers it with such raw emotion that you can't help but feel it. This moment shows how Washington's own values and understanding of family shine through in his performances, making them truly unforgettable. In an industry that often prioritizes image over substance, Washington's commitment to his foundational values offers a refreshing alternative. It has little to do with being a star and more about being a person of substance who uses his platform to reflect real human experiences and values. But Washington's impact goes beyond his personal conduct. It's also about the stories he chooses to tell. Sidney Poitier, a trailblazer in his own right, once told Denzel, your first four to five roles will determine how you are perceived. These words became a guiding principle for Washington, shaping his approach to making a difference through his art. And he got it right. Films like Carbon Copy, A Soldier's Story, and Power might not be the first movies you think of when you hear his name, but they were pivotal. These roles represented deliberate decisions aimed at setting a higher standard, both for himself and for the portrayal of black men in Hollywood. At such an early stage of his career, it was risky to turn down any role, let alone a role offering millions of dollars. Just listen to what he was up against. I got a part in a movie in 1986. I called it the nigga they couldn't kill. Oh. Yeah, it was, he was supposed to be a... Uh... <laughs> He raped a white woman and they, they, they tried to electrocute him, but it didn't work. And then they tried to hang him and they tried to do all this stuff. And to me, it wasn't funny about putting a rope around my MF and neck. And sure enough, six months later, he received a role for Steve Biko, a dignified activist who became a martyr for a worthy cause. Don't want to be forced into your society. I'm going to be me as I am, and you can beat me or jail me or even kill me, but I'm not going to be what you want me to be. By choosing roles like Steve Biko, Washington leveraged his growing platform to shed light on important social issues, extending his impact far beyond the screen. His career choices crafted a legacy that protected his integrity and redefined how black characters could be depicted, complex, dignified, and true to life. I remember filming a scene that's now become, it's called the King Kong scene. 
It was late. We were filming in a place called the jungle. We were surrounded by gang members. I mean, when he finished, I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. Well, for real. I didn't know where that came from. There was a moment of silence. And then the gang members went crazy and started clapping. And some came up to me and said, yo, homie, this movie's a hit. <laughs> they love Denzel. I salute you, my brother Denzel. You are at the top of the game. It is my privilege to continue to collaborate with you. Congratulations. Washington's commitment to authenticity and powerful storytelling has set a new standard in Hollywood. His choices have paved the way for a new generation of actors to take on complex, meaningful roles that challenge societal norms. It's a great play. In fact, I was with Kenny Leon, the director, last night. So I was just quickly going through the material the, the, the night before last uh, in, in preparation, and it was just breaking my heart. It's just a great American play, a classic American play. From his earliest roles to his current work as an actor and producer, Denzel Washington has consistently demonstrated that true excellence lies in using success to open doors, tell important stories, and drive positive change. His career choices reflect a deep commitment to making a lasting impact, both on and off the screen. Yet, choosing the right roles is only one aspect of Washington's journey to excellence. Equally crucial is the dedication and craft he brings to each performance, transforming even the most challenging roles into vehicles for profound impact. What sets Washington apart is that he approaches acting as a true professional. In real life, he's a man determined to make the most of his God-given talents, constantly honing his gift. Acting is simply the way he chooses to express this drive. You have a gift. It's called a gift. You didn't earn it. You were born with a gift. Now you hone that gift. You develop that gift. You do everything you need to do to protect it. And then you share it. Washington's background in theater provided him with the foundation few actors possess. His training in Shakespeare and Eugene O'Neill plays honed his skills, giving him unparalleled range and nuanced delivery for many of the on-screen roles we know and love. This theatrical grounding instilled in Washington a profound respect for the power of storytelling. His approach to each role reflects the seriousness of someone who understands the weight of the stories he's telling. Denzel told his agent a year before we were going to shoot, I'm not doing anything else. So he prepared a year. This intense level of preparation paid off. Washington's portrayal of Malcolm X earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. More importantly, it cemented his performance as one of the most powerful and authentic biographical portrayals in cinema history. And although he didn't win, it was regarded as one of the biggest Oscar snubs in history. What's equally powerful to his performance, though, was his response. Don't think about it. You know, I don't, I don't uh, concern myself with awards and things like that. that. That has really not a lot to do with what I do. It's not the reason I'm in this business, and it sure doesn't motivate me in, in my work. You know, it's, it's a nice, you know, icing on the cake or whatever after the fact, but it's truly after the fact. It's about finding a way to give back through his art. His work has become a vehicle for his purpose, a way to explore the full spectrum of human experience and to tell stories that matter. Through his performances, Washington often leaves us, the audience, not just entertained, but profoundly moved and inspired to reflect on our own lives and society. In this way, Denzel Washington's dedication to his craft becomes a form of service, using his gift not just for personal gain, but to illuminate, educate, and inspire change in the world around him. In the end, Washington's impact extends far beyond his performances. It whispers of potential, not just his, but ours. And perhaps that's the most powerful role he plays. When asked what he would like people to take away from his performances, in classic Denzel fashion, he shares a gentle but stern reminder that what people bring is what they will take away. And so we too have a role to play in creating a better world for ourselves and those around us. Just as Denzel uses his platform to create change, we each have our own gifts, whether it's our voice, our work, or our influence that we can use to make a difference. It begs the question, what will you bring? How will you use your gifts to impact the world. If the answer doesn't immediately come to mind, no stress. But in case you need a hint, follow Denzel's example. Don't just aspire to make a living. Aspire to make a difference.